Hello there, mathematicians. I'm going to talk to you about tax, and this is a receipt from uh, today. I went to Walmart and I purchased a few things. I thought I'd explain this a little bit here because we're, we're so used to seeing this little slips of paper, but rarely do we pay attention to the details. And they have a uh, little survey stuff. Walmart, the number, all this stuff, and obviously the things that I bought here. I bought some oatmeal, and I cannot remember these other things I bought. <laughs> Athletics? Yeah, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, but here are the prices of the items that I bought. Subtotal. And the topic of this video is tax. Now, tax one, I'm not sure, but 7.750%, $3.46, our total here. I used it in my debit card. And there you go. So I'm going to focus in on this. How, what is going on here? How is this calculated and how is this uh, all figured in? Well, basically, you take your subtotal. And this amount right here is 7.75% of the subtotal for the most part. So I did a little calculation. And what I have here is, uh, as I said, what I originally thought it was is you have your subtotal, which is $46.44. And I, oh, you know what? I want to actually change that just a bit and say it's 7.750% of $46.44. Okay, okay, okay. 44 cents. Okay, that's how we write it. Now, the word of means to multiply. Okay, and uh, of $46.44. And 7.750%, well, percent means out of 100. So it's 7.750 out of 100. So it's 7.750 divided by 100. And when you divide by 100, that really moves the decimal two times to the left. So that's the same as 0. Point, moving this twice to the left is 0. 0.0775. I could put a zero afterwards, but basically it's the same thing. So that's the decimal equivalent. So I have to use that when punching it in a calculator. So I have 0 0.0775. I don't need the zero at the end. And so I multiplied these two numbers together. And let's see, what I got as the product is, move that, what I got as the product was uh, 3.5991, so almost $3.60. And I realized, okay, something's bad here because that's this is supposed to be $3.46. I was supposed to look so smart right here, and it's not. It's a little bit different. And then I looked at my receipt again. I see these Xs, and I see this one zero. And the zero has to apply to the oatmeal. And I thought, hey, wait a minute. I wonder, as I know that some foods are not taxed. So I think that this is not taxed. So what I did is I I, uh, I did the, the sum again. Okay, so I worked out that sum without the oatmeal. So what I did is I summed up these items right here. Uh, let's see, I want that. These items right here. All the, the sum of those items became uh, 46. And so I added up that sum without the oatmeal, and that came out to $44.68. So I thought, okay, let's take the 7.750% of that new total and of is to multiply so $44.68 and again this would be 0 0.0775 and sure enough that came out to $3.46 and that is exactly what that total needed to be or not the total but the tax so that right there is how that amount was ca uh, tallied up everything that's taxable and you multiply by 0 0.0775, and you get that. And then the total, the total that you get uh, 
is going to be the $46.44 plus the $3.46 to arrive at $49.90. And there you go. That is how tax is calculated. It's a percentage of your subtotal. And so now the next time you go shopping and you can now look at your receipt with new eyes and say, oh, yeah, that tax right there. I know exactly where that came from. Or you might realize that if something's $1.76 in the store, you don't pay $1.76. You pay the $1.76 plus the 7.750% tax. Now, every state has a different amount of tax that they add on to it. This is California that I'm in, and that ends up being that amount. So there you go.